Hey everyone, I'm Anna, an educator at the North Carolina Arboretum. I want to start by welcoming our new Eco Explorers. Eco Explorers is a program where you get to help scientists and earn badges and prizes just by taking photos of wild organisms around your home. To get started, you can sign up at ecoexplore.net. And now we're back to our field season focus of entomology season. The weather is starting to cool down as the days change from fall into winter. And I don't know about you, but I sure do love these beautiful fall colors, the changing leaves, the crunch they make under my feet, and when I'm all wrapped up in a nice cozy jacket as snug as a bug in a rug. And speaking of bugs, do you ever stop and wonder, where do insects go in winter? Well, today let's find some and see what their winter plans are. Noticing I'm not hearing much buzzing, I wonder where the bees go. Maybe I can find a bumblebee and ask where they go in winter. Oh, hi, bumblebee. Can I ask you a question? Um, that's Queen Bumblebee to you. Oh, excuse me, your highness. Where are the rest of your bee friends? Well, my honeybee friends, they stay busy all year round. But with bumblebees and new queens like myself, I'm the only one that survives through the winter. At the end of the summer, the last round of eggs will contain several new queens. We leave the nest to mate and find a new spot to hibernate throughout the winter. Wow, so you're underground for the entire winter just sleeping? Fascinating. Well, I must be off to find my new hibernation home. See you in spring! Hmm, I wonder what insects down at the stream do in winter. Oh, a golden stonefly! Oh great, another clumsy rock-throwing human. Hi, so I just talked to a bumblebee queen who says she hibernates in winter. Do you also hibernate in winter? Thanks so much for asking. I've been in this underwater prison for three dreary winters. Just makes me want to bang my head on one of these rocks and wake up next summer. Unlike that lazy, prissy queen bee who gets to sleep all winter, I have to endure these waking hours by watching the water just pass me by. On my absolutely craziest of days, get this. I just get off my rock and I swim to another one. Absolutely bananas, right? Totally bananas. So when do stonefly nymphs emerge as adults? Just like all the other seasons, I gotta watch my front and my back so that I don't turn into trout chow. And as you can tell, I'm looking pretty pretty these days. And I'm guessing I'm getting pretty close to my final moment. Where I'll emerge in my adult form with wings as a beautiful butterfly! Just kidding, I'm a stonefly. Do I look like a butterfly to you? No, but you do look beautiful. Thanks for sharing. Whoa, before you go, can you please put my rock back so I can keep doing my stonefly things? Oh, sorry, of course. Thank you. Hmm, who else can I ask about their winter plans? Oh, a grasshopper! Hi friend, you just look like you had a busy day. Oh, hello. I just certainly did. I laid my last egg pod for the season. Ah, that does sound like a lot of work. Now you're all set for the rest of winter, right? Well, I suppose so. I won't live much longer as the weather gets colder, but I'm happy knowing that my eggs will survive the winter. 
I buried them about an inch underground where they will hatch into nymphs in the spring. So my work here is all done. Oh, well, we'll miss seeing you around. Oh, don't worry. There'll be plenty more grasshoppers in the spring. It's the cycle of life. Crickets go through the same life cycle. Tell my kids I love them. Fly. Oh, wait, I have a question for you. Oh, sure, what's up? I'm on a mission to find out what insects do in winter. So, what do you do? Well, I'm also on a mission. I'm trying to find a warm shelter with access to food. I won't survive the winter out here in the cold. Maybe I'll just follow you to your home. No, that's quite all right. I'm not on my way home anyways. Oh, bother. Guess I'll just try what my ladybug friend did. Found a nice window crack to squeeze through to get into the warm human home. Ah, so that's how you all do it. I always have a few ladybugs and stink bugs inside my home in the winter. Yes, who knows? Maybe I'll see you again this winter in your home. Or maybe not, bye. Wow, those are some interesting insect interviews. I always wondered where insects go in the winter. But there's a whole range of insect activity in winter, from hibernating to remaining active, dying with the promise of new offspring, and moving into human homes. Time to go over the challenges. For your season challenge, you must take six photos of insects and upload them to your Eco Explorer account. Yeah. You must also complete three out of the four weekly challenges listed on our website. Don't forget to check your email every Monday for our fun weekly newsletter. And if you're new to Eco Explorer, be sure to sign up at our website. Also, tune into Eco Explorer's Facebook Live every weekday at 2 p.m. to see some exploring in action and maybe get a little inspired. Good luck, have fun, keep exploring. I seem to have lost my exoskeleton! <laughs>